Hello everyone, I'm Hunt Chef Jeremy Critchfield. I've been a professional chef for over 30 years, five-star resorts across the country, up until today, you know, having my own restaurant, butcher shop, catering. I've been an LEM customer for over 15 years. I love their products. I use them day in and day out in my shop. And now being able to represent them for some custom recipe development, this is like a dream come true. And this dish, when we're done today, <laughs> is gonna be like a dream on a bun. So I make a signature elk and wild boar bratwurst with uh, high temperature cheddar cheese and dehydrated jalapenos. And of course, the seasoning blend we'll get into in a minute. But these guys together, the two meats, the seasonings, we're gonna put them through the grinder, we're gonna patty them up, and we are gonna get on the grill and make a delicious double stacked wild game burger. And we're gonna glove up to mix these seasonings in here. So I've got kosher salt, onion powder, garlic powder, black pepper. Those four ingredients, along with our dehydrated jalapenos and the high temperature cheddar, are gonna make these guys extra delicious. Okay, now, so you can get in here, you don't have to wear gloves, but I like to. 30 years later in the kitchen, I wash my hands probably more than a surgeon, but the gloves go a long way for hygiene, for cleanup, and for everything else. I mean, just like these liners that LEM has for their uh, lugs, who wants to waste time cleaning? So they're a uh, great component and helper in the kitchen. All right, so we're all seasoned up and ready to get this brat burger in the, uh, big bite grinder here. So we're gonna take our stomper, just slide it all in, get ready. We'll get a couple pieces down in there. I never like to start a grinder dry, you know, with no meat in it. Here we go. So there's the first grind. We're gonna go back in again. You know, this grinder, I've owned it for almost a year and use it five, six days a week in the shop. Um, it is the perfect power and perfect size for us there. Customers want a custom grind or just a couple of pounds of turkey or you know, custom brisket burger blend, something, anything along those lines. Works great for that. But you know, as a sportsman, this guy's got a lot, <laughs> a lot of power. I mean, you can put deer after deer after deer after turkey after moose after elk through this thing, and it is not gonna let you down. LEM has done a fantastic job between the power and the uh, ease of operation with this thing. That is looking right. So, you know, the purpose of that second grind, obviously we want a little finer texture to the meat, but it blends the boar and the elk really, really well. And this is gonna make some fantastic burger. So we've got the 25 pound meat mixer here and we've got it all leveled up. These feet, super easy twist adjustments, little lock washers on there and slides right in. Take the set screw on the back side. There's a little dimple on the attachment where it slides in for the set screw. So we're locked in, it's not going anywhere once we turn it on. And we've got our lug with our bag and shake that wild wow, game goodness right in there. There we go. Look at that. Didn't even have to put the gloves on. Perfect. So we'll set this guy out of the way. We're gonna take our high temperature cheddar cheese um, and make it rained all that. Dehydrated jalapeno, just about half of that. All right, good. Now, we've got your see-through lid, goes right on top. A nice little slot here, you can add more ingredients once you're mixing if you need to. And then it's just as easy as turning it on. And then there's the uh, blades inside are just mixing it, incorporating all the cheese, all the jalapeno through there, and you're not uh, over grinding the meat, it's not gonna be super fine and pasty, like a pate type sausage. 
And so all these processes, you want to start with really cold meat and keep your equipment cold as well. And we're just about done. So we've ground and seasoned our, and mixed our elk and wild boar brat burgers. And so we're gonna reach right in here and get a handful. We're just gonna make a nice ball out of this. And you can see, you can see the cheddar, the jalapenos in there. And it is getting um, very fragrant. And that kind of smell you'll never get tired of in your wild game kitchen or any other, I promise you. So we've got the spring-loaded patty press here. We've got a paper down right over it. Press it down. You know, so a recipe like this is really family friendly, you know, extended family, friends. Awesome job for the kids if they're around. I know they love running the press, sizing the patties out, you know, making them involved and in seeing how that harvest comes the whole way from truly the field to the table whether they're old enough to help you cook it or not. But celebrating that harvest, bringing everybody together around it and enjoying it to its fullest. I mean, that's why we do this. So we've made up our burger patties. We're out at the grill, just about ready for them, but we've got extra leftover. So these wild game bags, give them a twist. We filled them up to the one pound mark, just like it says here. And we're gonna go right through. Now, that's a perfect tape and seal. This guy is a little bit lighter but great freezer protection, great way to preserve your harvest. This is a little bit longer, so we're gonna go right through down, and we're gonna come back, and cut that bag off that we don't need. We're gonna label it, date it, and we're gonna put our elk brats in the freezer. So you can't have a delicious double-decker wild game burger in America without some fresh cut fries. So we're gonna take these guys and rinse them in the cold water get that starch off of them to help crisp them up and let them sit in there about 20 minutes and we'll get them out to drain and dry while we're cooking the burgers and we'll flip the burgers, we'll come in and we'll start the fries about 320. Just as they start to brown a little bit, we're gonna crank that fryer up to 350 and finish them and get them golden brown, delicious, hit them with the seasoned salt and then we're gonna be ready to eat. So we've got our elk and wild boar brought burgers mixed up, seasoned, patted, right back here ready to go on the grill. We've got the onions, the mushrooms, the bacon. We're gonna toast the buns. We've got our hand cut fries done there in the cold water. We're ready to get on the grill and get this party started. We've got some sizzle, that's gonna mean flavor. We are just about ready to bring these burgers to you on the plate. So we're here to finish putting together our elk and wild boar bratwurst burgers. So we've got toasted buns first up. Now, we're gonna put the bacon on the bottom. And you know we're making this a double decker. It's gonna be a fistful. So, one patty down. After that, we want some mushrooms and onions on the top of this guy. We might make a mess, but we're gonna eat it all. Don't you worry about that. Oh yeah, stacking it up. Next patty, please. On top of that guy. Lettuce, tomato. Gotta get you, eat your veggies too, you know. Toasted bun on top. Two steak knives down. We've got some delicious hand cut fries here we've seasoned. Nice and crispy. And now we're gonna see how we did. This guy. Oh, I'm already excited. And there is your elk and wild boar bratwurst burger, hand cut fries, all toasted up with the bacon, mushrooms, onions, lettuce, and tomato. I'm Hunt Chef Jeremy Critchfield with LEM Products, and this is how you be your own butcher, feel the table.